Okay, hi everyone. So today we're going to be showing you how to use Fermata and Fermata for Java or Fermata for J to program an Arduino board to respond to your computer. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is introduce you to uh, Fermata on the Arduino. All right, so this is a program that's found inside of Arduino, examples, Fermata, uh, let's see, standard formatter right there. Okay. And then I've chosen to program my uh, Grove Beginner Kit as an Arduino Nano. And it's on this serial port right here. So I'm going to flash it right now. So I'm going to send the program. I haven't made any changes. I'm going to send that program directly into the Arduino board. And you can see it's flashing right now. Okay. So that's now going to be on the board. And we can see the D13 LED has just confirmed that it's on board. All right. Now, next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Java program right here that has some imports. There's my main class. Here is my main method or my main function. It throws some exceptions. You need that. I've named my USB port right there. I've created an IO device for Fermata. I'm calling it the Arduino object. I will start it. I'll initialize it or continue the initialization right there. And then from there, I have to create an I squared C object. And the reason is because we're going to make the OLED, the display work. And the display itself connects between the chip, the Atmega328 that's there, and the board there through an I squared C or I2C um, a wiring system. Okay. And uh, then we have the OLED object that's of type SSD 1306. This isn't quite the device that we have on here, but it, it's compatible. We have, um, it's a 1516 or something. Did I write it down? Yeah, the 1515, maybe the 1515. Anyway, it works. So we've got that device in there. It's being set to speak over I squared C. Uh, and it's 128 by 64 pixels. Next, we initialize the OLED object, and then we're going to write to it. I'm going to write the word hello. What all this does right here is it updates the memory on the board. It doesn't actually update the image on the, on the OLED. Next, we have to send that update into the screen itself. So we have to call the display method. We're going to put it to sleep for two seconds, and then we're going to stop. All right, so let's uh, let's program it up. You can see we're going to see some flashing right there. There we go. And we've got a hello. And we're done. Okay, so let's see if we can make things a little bit different here. Let's go and change the text size. So we're going to go uh, the OLED object, get canvas dot set text size like that. Let's make it four. Let's make it big. Run that. Nope, that didn't work. Let's try the text size before writing. How about that? Like that. There we go. Nice big hello. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got that working. Next up, let's make that small again. Okay, so text size of two. And let's uh, let's put a, a horizontal line in. So we're going to go the OLED object dot get canvas dot um, draw horizontal line like this. And I have to set the X, Y positions. So X is horizontal, Y is vertical. So I'm going to put that to zero and X. We're going to make um, Y, what are we going to make it? We're going to make it uh, say 40. And then we're going to make a line width of 100. How about that? And we have to set the color of the line. Okay, now color, it's a black and white um, display. So we're actually making it either bright or not bright. And it's like this monochrome canvas dot color dot bright. Okay. Let's send that in. 
and we should have a hello and a line up here on the screen. There we go. We got a hello and a line right there. Okay, next up, how about we do a circle? We're going to go the OLED object dot get canvas dot draw circle right there. And let's see, it's center X, center Y. So let's make that, I don't know, 10 and 10 and a diameter of 5, or sorry, that's a radius of 5. And then the color, we're going to do again monochrome canvas dot color dot bright. Okay. And that should draw it up. So we should have a hello, a line, and a circle. And there's that circle right there. Let's adjust the position of that circle. Let's go make that 20 and 20 and send it. Now, we can also use the uh, the dark setting to erase a line. So that's important to know. And you can also clear the, uh, the display as well. Now, what are all these methods that we can use? Well, they're actually defined on the GitHub page. So here's the GitHub page right here for Formata4j. And so you can see that there are uh, some basic examples right here. There is a... Uh, this business of event listeners, which is actually really important. Um, we're not covering it here in, in this example, but it is a good um, thing to know about. So events on like buttons and things like that. So you can subscribe to IO events on changes for a particular pin, like a button. All right, I'm gonna go into source right here. I'm gonna go into main, uh, let's see, I think it's in here. And SSD 1306, this is where the uh, methods are defined inside uh, of the project for drawing on the OLED. So we can see we've got monochrome canvas defined right there. You can see the bright and the dark. We can see set pixel, drawing line, right? There's a draw line right there. Draw line again, so another one. Draw vertical line, draw horizontal line, draw rectangles, fill rectangles, uh, fill screen. Draw or fill screen. Let's see where else we got. Uh, draw circle, fill circle, triangles. Like there's a lot in here. Draw chart. Oh, draw char right there. Write. And there should be a draw string in here somewhere. Where's draw? Str oh, there's the clear. There's clear right here. Okay. Let's see if I can find string. There, there's draw string. This is another important one, drawing string right there. Okay, so lots of good methods that can be called upon uh, in a similar way to what I did right here. All right, good luck, everyone.